Serene Highness, uh, what stood out for you today in, uh, in, in seeing this, this marine station in very much in action? Well, I, I was very impressed by the building itself, by, by the facilities, by the uh, very uh, well thought out uh, plan of circulation and uh, everything seems to flow in a, in a wonderful way. And then I was very uh, uh, interested to uh, uh, talk to the students and the professors and to see some of the work that's being done both in the, in the lab but also uh, the posters that uh, the, the students were presenting, the undergraduate students that were presenting uh, their, their work and, and I thought it was uh, very informative. Different, uh, different pathogens on uh, the, the incredible problem of uh, microplastics and how that affects uh, different uh, different species and, and so all these uh, uh, all these issues are of course very much uh, at the heart of what uh, the, the work that I try to do with my foundation and so this this has great resonance and I think uh, uh, it will have and I hope that it will have uh, not only in uh, the area of uh, the, the, the different areas of marine sciences, but uh, uh, that, the, that the public at large will be, be able to learn more about these issues and better understand them. And how important do you think it is for students to have such close uh, access and proximity to the marine environment? Well, I think it's uh, it's, a, it's an incredible plus. Look at this. I mean, they, they just have to uh, uh, point out the window Almost, but uh, they, they have very easy access to uh, uh, to uh, to different crafts and different boats, and, and to be able to go out uh, at sea and to uh, be be able to, to firsthand get uh, very good knowledge, and then come back within uh, minutes to to the lab and, and to uh, start uh, start th 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 that part of the work. But it's very important to, to get out on the field and to. And in, a, in a very easy way, and so this, this facility does offer this in an extremely uh, practical and wonderful way. And um, last question, how is it um, for you to, to come back after, you know, two years after your honorary doctorate to see the Plymouth developing, opening new, new buildings and facilities? Well, I think it's wonderful. I think it's, uh, uh, I, I knew it was uh, a very dynamic university and one that is very forward thinking and forward planning. And to see these uh, these kind of new facilities, I think, can only enhance the uh, uh, the scope and reach and, and prestige of the university. And I'm very happy to be a small part of it and to, and to accompany it in, the, in its development. And I hope to uh, I, I hope to return here. I feel quite uh, at home now. <laughs> and uh, but it's wonderful. And I think in all the events that will be leading up to the. Uh, uh, to uh, 2020 and that uh, wonderful celebration of the Mayflower. And I think it'll also be, uh, the, the university will have, a, I think, a major part in that. And to be able to, to showcase once again the, the, the importance of marine science.